and welcome back to Digital A Love Story. This is part five, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it up in the title. But I am Laura 3 is 3 me, and we just entered the Gibson BBS. And it's locked with the password, which we don't have. And the only way to get out of this screen is to obviously say get off my screen obviously how many of you didn't think of that none of you did none of you thought of it so we have to use the dict hacker oh i think we already did i feel really stupid oh well we're doing it again anyway No. No, you can't. But I won't shoot you in the foot. Don't worry. I'll be here less. Oh yeah, we already got into the Gibson. Sorry, sorry. Wow, it's already been that long? Or... Congratulations, Eriko. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll see you again. Eventually. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Fastest Fidonet node. It's probably sector 001. Ooh, a new sec a new place to go to. Which updates twice a day. If you can stand the chintzy theme. Ah, oh, it's like the worst of the 70s. I can't believe anyone ever took that shit seriously. It doesn't really matter though, since most nodes update less than once a day at awkward time. So the end result is that no matter how fast your node updates, it's always gonna take two days for messages to re reach the recipient. In general, Fidonet is a pretty practical pra is a pretty practically lousy implementation of a neat idea. It's like networking using the post office. I don't know how long it's been since I sent a letter. I sent one to a friend a while ago. Oh well. He doesn't get it. You're missing the point entirely. SF isn't supposed to be predictive just for the sake of predict. It's not supposed to be a crystal ball. There's an ex extrapolative aspect, yes, but even the most extrapolative stories also have strong metaphorical qualities, and Gibson is no exception. It's not supposed to be an earnest examination of the future. Rather, it's an exemplar of the so social anxieties that underlie the cyberpunk movement. When he talks about technology, he's not really talking about technology. He's talking about human attachments to technology. That certainly has value. Private messages? Oh no, I guess we just came here to get that. So let's call it, shall we? Sector 001. Oh, but we gotta dial 915-3347. Dial. Dialing, dialing, dialing. Sorry, I'll be quiet for those of you who want to hear that lovely noise. <laughs> Two, three, five, one, four, three, and I think this one is going to be used. Oh, no. The numbers end up being used up. So I was thinking that that one would be used up. Oh, yeah, six, one, four, six, one, four. Sector 1 login. New. Alex. Thank you for registering. You're welcome. Get off my screen. <laughs> Illegal access. Ooh. Holy crap, guys. Does anyone know who this Laura 3 is? me person is I heard from Wintermood that there's a bunch of posts but never actually but he never actually accepted registration or anything I'd really like to give kudos because again holy shit Laura 3 is 3 me hacked the Gibson oh yeah I'm pretty awesome no I'm just kidding I'm really not <laughs> Senator I don't even know how to say that are you damaged 
Yes. Yes, I am. I've been shot in the foot multiple times. Sorry, that joke's not funny. <laughs> it's a Vietnamese name, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the war ended a decade ago. You are possibly the only person I have ever heard of seriously trying to use the phrase China man in a non-ironic manner. And while I don't know what po what could possibly be wrong with you, <laughs> I assure you there is no way race is going to be an issue for Robert, whatever, ta taking that senator position. You are the worst kind of racist, and I'm embarrassed to be posting on the same board as you. Then get off. It's not that hard. Core BBS. Weird trick when regenerating passwords, then Core BBS RNG random number generator seems to be incredibly misimplanted. It generates passwords sequ sequentially. So if the first password in a sequence will be XXX0, then the replacement will be XXX1, and the next replacement XXX2, and so forth. I don't know how this bug managed to make it into the production, so be wary, anyone thinking of switching to core BBS. Kingdom at War. Is there a part one? I'm gonna read part one first. Oh, no, no part one. Her Cold Blade, part two. Kingdom at War. Now the tensions have from the gathering storm have turned into an all-out war, and the battle system has been completely overhauled to allow for epic clashes of armies. Ooh. The human alliance stands brave with dozens of playable generals ready to push back the endless orc hordes. And who is this mysterious warrior, warrior of orcish prophecy known only as the Saber? Is he the trump card that our mighty warrior needs? Warrior queen needs? Whatever. Her Cold Blade Part 3, Heart of Fire, the third controvers controversial installment in her Cold Blade series. This one drops the epic combat of the last one, and instead follows Major Mira and Saber on a side story. It's good if you're a fan of Mira, but everyone probably just cares, just cares what's going on with the Queen. You know, the series is named after that the series is named after. Oh, and the whole story is pretty much about how Mira is a badass lesbian. Who wrote this? I have no idea. Amy C. Compiler, so you've decided to... to, 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 to I guess this is supposed to be kind of realistic with people and their bad grammar. Anyway, I know mine's not perfect either. Although, on occasion, I do intentionally mess up my words. <laughs> So, you've decided to, to program in C on your Amy, but you don't know where to begin. I'll walk you through the basics of getting a simple program written over the next dozen posts. But first thing you'll need is obvious, a C compiler. Let's download that. Reply. <coughs> no messages? No. Not bad. Go away. I guess let's go back to Lake City Local. Uh, or, I'm sorry, not Lake City Local. <sighs> sorry about that, guy, you, that, you guys. Anyway, let's try the Matrix. 220. Ah, no, dial. 220. <laughs> Ah, oh, wait, crap. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Alright, and you guys will probably get to see us returning to the Matrix in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Like and um, favorite if you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. So return next episode so we can continue exploring. Thanks guys. Bye.